There's a series of roads that I like to take to get from downtown Hamilton to Stony Creek. One of the most important roads in that route is Lawrence Road. Let's get cycling. Lawrence Road is 3.7 kilometers long and it runs east-west along the Niagara Escarpment in Hamilton, Ontario. It goes from Gage Street all the way to the Red Hill Valley Expressway. It is one of my favorite routes to take. And despite how nice it is with the dedicated bike lanes that it has from beginning to end, it still only scores 82%, which is a B minus. Having protected lanes will obviously increase the score, but I think one thing that should be taken into consideration, the section between Gage and just before Kenilworth, on the west side of Kenilworth, I think it should be a double bike lane on the side that we are currently traveling. We have the space to the side to extend it, and you could use the other side as a pedestrian walkway. Now, the reason why I say put it on this side, on the eastbound side, is because every 300 meters, we have a T intersection. And every time we have a T intersection, that is a chance for a car to hit a cyclist. So if we were to have a double lane on the eastbound side, maybe put up some protection, some curb stops are always great. Uh, I've seen them littered around the city from time to time. In the previous video where we were on the Mount Albion Trail, we found some. And it has been pointed out that there is a lot of parking lots that use these curb stops. And then they're just basically a field. And I don't know why Hamilton does that. Um, so maybe take those curb stops and put them along um, very specific locations to protect cyclists. This section isn't too bad. Cars do tend to travel a little bit faster along this road, even though it's a 50. But, you know, having the double bike lane on this side would, would help. Uh, you wouldn't have to worry about the cars coming in to contact you on the westbound side. But, yeah. Other than that, I really enjoy this route. It's part of my regular route when I want to just bike to Stony Creek. I take this route. Uh, I live downtown, so I catch the, the Escarpment Rail Trail to Wentworth, and I turn off of Wentworth onto Cumberland. Now, Cumberland is going to be the next video in this series. It is not the best route to take, but it's the most convenient. Because where the Escarpment Rail Trail ends, you take a left and then you take a right immediately and you're on Cumberland and it brings you to Lawrence. And so that is my preferred route because it's, it's the shortest. The best route is actually to take Delaware and Maplewood because they have dedicated bike lanes. Oh, uh, here we have the Kenilworth Bridge. It's quite bumpy. Uh, a, lot, a lot of the roads... Um, needs repair and I think we should take advantage of you know maybe extending a double lane and repair the road you don't even have to use the same material that we use where the cars drive because bicycles don't damage the road as much as cars so you could use a cheaper material and it still won't be damaged uh, but yeah my preferred route is take the Escarpment Rail Trail, Cumberland, alternatively take Delaware Maplewood, turn on to Lawrence. Lawrence brings you all the way to the Red Hill Valley Expressway. You can connect to the Red Hill Trail system. Um, I, I've mentioned it before. I don't recommend it unless you're very comfortable with your bike. Um, there's some steep sections, loose rock sections on the Red Hill Trails. Uh, if you see the pavers on any incline or decline, I recommend, if you're not comfortable with your bike um, and, and steep slopes, 
walk your bike whenever you see those concrete uh, pavers. They're a very unique shape. Uh, I'll have to try to take a picture of them one time and post it on Twitter or include it in one of the videos. Uh, but yeah, so this will bring you to King Street. I then typically will turn onto King Street. I think King Street really needs the benefit from proper bike lanes. And I am very much an advocate of you take a single lane and make it into a double bike lane. It is the easiest thing to do. You don't have to remeasure lanes. And I do think there's other benefits for a double bike lane uh, when you have them separated like they currently are on Lawrence there's more chances that cars aren't going to pay attention if you always know bicyclists are on your right or bicyclists are on your left then you're less likely to not be paying attention where you should be paying attention you'll know okay they're always there or at least they should always be there but that's something for another video um, but yeah uh, right here there's some stairs to Bettina and a path to Glenholm. Glenholm is a good way to get to Parkdale because up ahead, Parkdale is a bridge. Uh, I think we could benefit from a path up to Parkdale. I just don't know if there is space. It it's, would be fairly steep. So I don't know if that would actually work. Plus the city may not own the land there. It might have to cut through a backyard, which we don't want anyone losing their backyards. Anyways, we are pretty much at the end here. Up ahead, we have Mount Albion Road, as well as the Red Hill Trail. The uh, If you turn left at the intersection up ahead, you'll turn into a parking lot, and then the trail continues along. And to the right, uh, the trail comes up. It's right along the sidewalk there. When turning left or right onto King Street, because you can't go straight through because you will be going on to the Red Hill Expressway, which you cannot cycle on, you have to turn left or right. It's not too hard to change lanes over to the left to go left on King. However, that being said, there is an issue going on to Lawrence, which we need to discuss. Now, I'm including a small section of King Street because I think it's really important that cyclists know at least this is my belief that it is best to stay in this turning lane. Don't try to get into that middle lane to go straight because cars zip up and down King Street really fast. So just stay in the turning lane. Hopefully cars realize you're not turning onto the Red Hill. And there you go. Now coming back from the opposite direction, you will see how hard it is to get onto Lawrence. I think we do need a two-part uh, system where you cross the road and you sit in a bike box and then you cross the road again because going across all these lanes of traffic you can see I'm looking back and forth and back and forth and luckily a car notices that I want to get into this turning lane I give them a little wave as a way to say thank you but yeah um, I think if we were to put a bike box in this corner then uh, that would be very beneficial Anyways, that is it for this video. Stay tuned for the next one where we talk about Cumberland and why it is my preferred route, even though it is such a horrible street to bike down. Take care.